Um, it's Madison again. I am so, so excited to film this tutorial right now. Um, but first things first, I just want to say thank you for all the followers that I've gotten in the past week or so. Um, I posted a picture like a couple days ago um, just saying what you guys expect me from me in the new year, what videos you want to see and everything like that. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me. Um, and comment down below like what videos you're super interested in and I will try my hardest um, to either buy those products and review them or buy the products, try them out and do a tutorial on them or just do a tutorial on the look that you guys want. Um, I'm so grateful for all your guys' support um, and all the kind words and just everything that you guys have done for me this past couple months. Um, it's been super awesome just to see it where I started and where I am now and yeah it hasn't been like a crazy fire of all these subscribers and everything um but you gotta start somewhere so I'm hopeful anyways um but yeah let's get started um so as the title says I am going to be doing a unicorn brush review slash use so what I'm going to do is use every single brush to create a look um, and kind of tell you guys how I feel about the brush and, and what I think. Um, I'm just going to be doing a pretty basic, like, basic everyday look for you guys. Um, so far on my face I've already started my base, so I went in with the um, e.l.f. moisturizer. And then I did a e.l.f. tone adjusting face primer because I do have redness and acne. Um, so I do use products that have green tone in them to cancel out that redness. Um, and then I did use a color correcting cream after that. So I already used those three products on my face right now. Um, and then, yeah, I'm actually going to show you the brushes and talk about each one and what they're for. And then I'll go in with the tutorial. Alrighty, um, so this is what the um, case looks like that it comes in. And it has like these little unicorn zippers. Um, I will link down the website that I got them from below. It did take a little while for me to get. I actually pre-ordered them in October and got them in November, I think. So it took like a month to two months to get them. Um, but they're doing all kinds of releases now. And I know you can get them from a lot of wholesalers too. Um, but I got the real deal, paid full price for them. Um, and everything, and, um, yeah, so, I will link all of that below, but this is it, and then it's going to unzip and open up like this, oh, just slay my life, you guys, literally just, like, they're, like, mermaidy and unicorny to me, because this is, like, a unicorn horn, but it's also very seashell-y, and they are like super shiny. Oh, but they are so beautiful. It comes with um, 10 brushes. And then they all do different things. And like I said, like I haven't even used this. It is now January and I how could I not have filmed a tutorial already? I've just been so busy. Um, so it looks like it does come with here, let me move. Um, and a crease brush, an eyeliner brush powder, contour, and uh, I would say this is a concealer brush. And then over here you're going to have another crease brush, um, a highlighter, fan brush, a all-over foundation brush, blush brush, and then another blend, uh, eyeshadow lid brush. Um, so 10 of those and I will be using all of them today. So super excited for that. Um, but anyways, let's get started. Um, also if, if you know me and you've heard me say like my hair has a mind of its own, like look at this. This is like without product, without brushing it, like air dry, all of that. It is a crazy ridiculous mess. So, I'm actually going to put it up out of my face. Um, and yeah, and then hopefully let's get started. Okay guys, so here you can see I'm going to be going in with the Ulta Color Correcting Foundation and Primer Stick in the color Fair Porcelain. I'm going to be taking that concealer brush and just dabbing it in and then dabbing 
um, all over my face wherever there's dark circles, blemishes, redness, anything like that. As you can see, I didn't really like this brush because I had to go back into the product quite often um, because the brush didn't apply it very well. Next I'm going to be taking the um, Nude Tude Palette by The Bomb and let me tell y'all, it is bomb. I'm going to be taking the shade Snobby, it's like an orange champagne shade and, and applying that all over the lid. Dance break. <laughs> Next I will be taking the fluffier crease brush and the color Sultry from the palette which is a nice taupey brown and I will be applying that all over the crease, sweeping in back and forth motions just to get that full blown out effect. Now I'm going to be taking standoffish and applying that as a brow highlight. With the pointier crease brush, I will be taking the color Sleek from the palette and just rubbing that um, on the outer corner of the eyes to build a um, cat-like effect. just really getting that blended out. I'm going to be taking the All My TLC True Lasting Color. It's a 16 hour makeup foundation with an SPF of 15 and it is the shade Buff. I'm going to just be um, applying that all over the face with the foundation brush and like the concealer brush this um, did not apply very well so I had to go in quite often with a lot of product which I don't like because it just gives it a cakey look um, and it just doesn't give it the full coverage. I'm going to be setting my T-zone area with the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder in the color Translucent Light. I love this powder brush, you guys. It is so fluffy. It applies so beautifully just all over the face. It didn't apply too much and it didn't apply too little. It was perfect. Alrighty, and you know Mama had to use the Tarte Shape Tape, and I am in the color Fair, and I will be taking an Ulta Beauty blender to do this part, just um, just because there wasn't really a brush to do it, and I prefer a sponge. And then I did go over with that powder brush. I didn't add any more powder. I just um, went in to set it, even though you don't need to set it. Next I will be taking the ColourPop Eyebrow Pencil in the color Dope Taupe and just filling in my brows. And then I will be taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in Medium Deep to contour my cheeks. This bronzer smells so good y'all. And I really did um, like this contour brush. I definitely think it applied very well and gave me the look that I was going for. And of course you guys know that I will be using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill split pan and this is the one with Champagne Pop and Flower Child. Champagne Pop will be that highlighter and Flower Child is the blush. I'm going to be taking the blush brush and going in with Flower Child first, just over the apples of my cheeks and drawing it backwards. Oh, this fan brush, oh my goodness, you guys. It is so pretty. And I will be using it with Champagne Pop. So I dabbed it into Champagne Pop and then I took my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set and sprayed the brush just to get a more dramatic highlight on those cheeks and oh my goodness was it beautiful. It worked exactly how I wanted it to. That glow though. Ooh, dance break again. 
I'm going to be taking that eyeliner brush from the Unicorn Palette with my e.l.f. Black Liquid Gel Liner in the pot. Just going to dip that in there, get the lower lash line, and then create a small winged eyeliner look. And after I am going to clean that brush really quickly so that it doesn't get ruined because gel eyeliner will do that and finish the look with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And there you guys have it. Okay, real talk time. So I cannot... I don't know. I can't really tell you guys if it's worth the money. Um, some of these brushes I love. Some of them I'm like, eh, didn't really like how it applied. Um, so I don't know if I still need to just work with them a little bit or, or if I just don't like them. I don't like how they apply. Um, one thing I will say, a couple things I will say. Um, make sure that you clean them because they too... They do tend to get a little bit dirty. Okay, a lot of it dirty. So I would clean them after every use just because the whole thing behind them is part of the rainbow effect. Um, so I'm definitely going to clean them right now after, um, after I'm done filming. But let's go and review all of them. Um, I guess I'll review them in order to usage. Um, first, I used that concealer brush and I did not like it. I don't, I had to go in and dab a lot and like just apply a lot. I feel like it took off a lot of product instead of blending it in. Um, but I regularly don't like using brushes for my concealer. Anyways, I do like to use my beauty blender more than anything. Um, so that just could be part of me being picky about that. Um, so there's that one. Next um, was the eyeshadow brush, and I did like this a lot. It was very soft on my eyes. I have sensitive skin, like, all over, um, so soft brush eyeshadow brushes are a big deal to me. Um, so I did like this. I think that it blended the eyeshadow beautifully, um, super soft again, so I really did like this, and I will use this again. Um, the next one I used was that crease brush. Oh my gosh, this was probably my favorite brush out of all of these. Um, I just think it did a beautiful job of blending in that crease exactly how I imagined, um, and exactly how I wanted it. So that was definitely nice, um, for me. And then the other crease brush, crease brush, blah, it's like 1130 at night, so, you know, bear with me. Um, I also liked a lot, uh, especially just to get that kind of cat eye effect, um, so I liked, I liked all of those a lot. Um, foundation brush. I was not happy with this one at all. This is probably my least favorite brush out of the set. Um, yeah, it, you saw me. I had to keep, like, pumping that foundation on. It did not cover, like, this foundation right here, the, the Alme True Lasting Foundation, um, it's a definitely, like, medium coverage, and, um, this brush made it a very light coverage. It did not cover my acne or anything like that, and I really just did not, did not enjoy that at all. Um, I do prefer my other foundation brushes that I use. Um, the powder brush I actually kind of liked. Um, it picked up powder really well, and then it just, um, beautifully laid it on my skin, on top of that so I do enjoy this um, I tend to like a little bit of a bigger brush when I'm doing um, my powder just because I don't like a lot of powder I just kind of powder my t-zone area because that's where I get oily so that's why I like to set my foundation um, so I tend to like a bigger bigger powder brush because I don't like a lot of powder but overall I did like this one um, contour I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, I use a couple different contour brushes. I usually bronzer and then contour. Um, 
So I'll use like a big kabuki brush to get just all over my cheeks and then I'll go in with a contour and I've been using more of like a blush brush type brush to do my contour lately because it's tapered at the end and kind of fluffier at the beginning so I can get it tapered here um, and then deeper here. Um, so I didn't love this but I didn't hate it. It's kind of a, oh, I'll play around with it a little bit more. Um, the blush brush. I actually really liked this blush brush. It was a little bit small. I like them to be a little bit bigger because I do like to get the apples of my cheeks and backwards. Um, and then sometimes I do go in on my nose a little bit. But I did like this. I didn't think that it was like too much product or anything like that. Um, so I definitely will use this one again. The fan brush. Oh my gosh. Um, oh you can kind of see that it still had powder in it. I love fan brushes um, for highlight. I don't always use a fan brush. Most of the time I use a tapered brush. But this brush was awesome. Um, there's not a fan brush so far that I've used that I didn't like. So that was awesome. And of course, you know, Champagne Pop is bae. So, and especially if you use like a makeup mist um, with your highlight. Like, ooh, that was just popping. Ooh, ooh, girl, you know mama likes the glow. So. And then last but not least was the eyeliner brush, and I definitely went to go clean that right away just because um, gel eyeliners tend to get crusty on your brushes and just make them really dirty, and you don't want that. Um, so, I mean, it already stained it, but it's fine. I actually really like this. I don't really use gel eyeliner a lot. Um, I used to use it every day, but I do prefer my felt tip gel uh, liquid eyeliner pens. I did really love this brush, so... Um, this will be my go-to eyeliner brush from now on. Uh, ooh, I will say one more thing about these brushes. When you are using them, not so much this uh, foundation brush, but like the smaller brushes, um, it does worry me a little bit that they are kind of flimsy. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that they might snap. And that worries me a lot. Which I know they come in a carry case, but when I'm literally using them, it worries me. So... That's a con for me, and so I'm not really sure that they're worth the price that I paid for them. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that concludes this video. Um, let me know if you guys have gotten the unicorn brushes, whether it was from them or wholesale or whatever, and tell me what you guys liked and didn't like about them. Um, and then if you have any other questions about them, just comment below. Um, like, share, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Anyways, I've mentioned this a couple times on Instagram and Facebook posts and blah, blah, blah. Once I get to 100 followers, I will be doing a giveaway, and trust me, you guys are not going to want to miss it. It's going to be good, um, and I'm really excited to do it. So, you know, just share it with your friends. Share it with, I'm asking each of you to share it with one person, um, and just have them subscribe if they love makeup or if they like lifestyle stuff or anything. Just have them subscribe, and yeah. And then we will get that giveaway started. Um, anyways, I love you guys so much. I'm so thankful for your support and your views. Um, love y'all. Bye. I'm so sorry. So embarrassing. Well, now the whole world knows that I sneeze like a screaming girl. Good job. <laughs> anyway.